Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and today we will have the League Bets round 16, the round of 16. Um, and as you can see in these screenshots, we made a decent profit last week, I think like 250%. Um, so I'm like at, I don't know, like 15k coins right now, which is a really nice, really decent amount. Um, but let's get that score up and in this video I'll show how and what are we going to bet on, on which team. Because, well, we really want some more coins, of course. So how do I seek the right matches? Well, let's talk about that first. I look at their skills and I want to see the energetic skill, that is the yellow skill you see there in the middle. I want to see that because th this is like one of the best skills in the game. So I definitely want to see that skill. In these alliances, we don't see the skill. So hey, it's like, hmm, it, it's risky. Uh, we see some weird skills there. 3G13 got like a healing skill for the hospital, which is weird. Yeah, I get it. If you're out of troops, you use that, but it it takes up an entire skill slot. Hmm, this is not the play for Osiris League big teams. And as you can see here, where is to the death? Or where is, uh, well, other meta skills? Where is energetic? Well, I don't see them. So, hmm. That's that's some w one thing I look for, and O4BB has the same. A top Osiris League team needs the energetic skill, and usually they'll have hard push or something like that. And by the way, it seems like they're using to the death with Heaven's Grace, which is not working if you just read the skills. Troops buffed with to the death cannot be healed. Just read it. Second point I look at is, is the kingdom in a KVK? And here we see SP15 in KVK, GV77 in KVK, we also see EA in KVK, and in this same KVK is also S26S, or S2S, I don't know what it's called, yeah, S2S. So, for me this is kind of interesting, because um, their Kingsland will open in a couple of days, so... I think their Kingsland will even open before the Osiris League match, so they might shift their focus to Kingsland, because they of course don't want to lose Kingsland, you'll have like, you won't be able to play for like an hour, which is one burning flag. And if the timing is wrong on this match, well, that's during Kingsland opening maybe, or like early stages, which is, well, not good for your Kingdom. So that's the second thing that I always, well, pretty much always look at, for sure, at interesting matches. Then I look at players sometimes. If it's really close still, I just look at their history. So I look at players in their alliance, if they got any champion stars, as you can see right here. There's a few of them, I'll may make, maybe make a video about them, about such players that are champions, but now somewhere else. Fourth and fifth thing what I look at is, of course, here their uh, total power, as you can see, but usually this doesn't say a lot. And you also look at the stats from previous matches if they were close, like 65 AC, decent enemy, so that's not a big loss. And last thing that I look at, honestly, is just their history in Osiris League. So what the have they done before, um, and this gives an indication how strong they are now usually. So let's go over this week bets and well I'll explain a little bit here and there. First we have 17c. Oh yeah and I forgot to mention also one thing I look at is what the people think. Like the bets of course I'm not gonna bet on a very big overdog that's not what I'm gonna do. 17c they have well done pretty well so far and I see some great potential there. Um, Zorlatans, they have lost from 27 WP, an Asian alliance, which has very big potential as well. And, well, I think Baba's alliance will probably lose again, uh, because 70C seems very organized, uh, so that's interesting to see. I gave him some tips regarding the energetic scale that I talked about earlier, and he said thank you, so he'll probably use it next match, which will help our bet, well, dramatically, probably. And of course, oh wait, uh, I forgot to mention that as well, I also have a chat with, like, a lot of the alliances, uh, high members. 
Then we have GFE 77 against 60MX, and I already mentioned a little bit, GFE 77 might be in King's Land. Um, so that might be a reason for them to not show up or show up a little bit weaker. 60 GT player Uchi is like a friend of mine, or the, the friend of mine. Uh, he said, well, you can bet on them if you want to. Um, yeah, it's going to be a hard match, of course. But like I said, GV77 is just big power usually. They're not really a team, right? So when I asked him if they're going to beat GV77 this week, he said, yeah, there are the odds are there. Yeah, of course, it will be hard. So let, let's see how that plays out. Uh, we play, uh, we do like a small bet. 2,500 will be probably enough. We'll get like a 4x multiplier if we win. So that, that's like 10k already if we win. Then we have Watch It Burn versus Vita. And both alliances have some 1v members or like champions from... I, th I think it's 1v, uh, for sure Vita has 1v members, so that's interesting to see, and well, I'd like to see Vita involve or, or evolve next couple of Osiris leagues, and maybe they'll get a bit better, so I had a chat with one of their leaders, um, you're originally from 1v, right? Yes, that's true, Vita gonna get Forest champion, well, champions chip, and uh, that's what I asked, he said, uh, well, Something that I didn't really understand, but yeah, they're they're VIP 17 usually, but their goal is just to have a fun game. So I'm not like a hundred percent confident in this match, but like 30 40 percent win chance. No, let's make it 50, but I don't think this match is the best to bet on since I discovered later that um, Watch It Burn also has a lot of champions there. The next interesting bet is 04BB versus 74SE. As you can see, 74SE has lost one match, but this is against 65AC, so that's a very big well-known alliance, and I, I will grant them a loss. So I went to the chat, contacted their arc, uh, organizer, and I said, how confident are you with your Osiris League match? 100%. Good to hear. And then he said we practice every single day and I, well, I said about the energetic skill and I checked, yeah, they have it, so that's very good sign. And their enemies, 04BB, I hope they don't look at my videos, they don't have it, or it seems like they don't. So for me, like, a 5 to 1 betting odds ratio seems juicy for such an exciting match. And that's why I have like 2.2k and I will add some more over the last couple of days, so 2.5k on them. Last match that's going to be interesting is 1188 versus 93p. I only have a thousand there. I think this was like a 1 to 4 uh, trade as well. Um, 93, very famous of course, because of 1 Osiris League, 2 KVK. And I gotta admit, 1188. The Kingdom 11D88, I think they look pretty strong, and I I see that there's potential there, there's potential there. Uh, in KVKs as well as in Osiris Leagues. They have two alliances in Osiris League, like, top 16. But once again, I can lose like 500 coins, not a big deal. If I win, I win like, I don't know, 4k. Um, the risk to profit ratio will be, well, pretty good. I mean... It will be a close match, probably. It, will, it won't be like a, a very big victory for one party. So that's, for me, I think a, a good reason to bet. And last thing, the Eye of Talents. They gotta go to 489 because they will beat 60 GT, told it more often. Some 60 GT players like Leopard migrated out to 489. And, well, they want revenge on any 3T, I guess. And above all, 489 has beaten them in the Grand Prix as well um, last round, so yeah. Honorable mentions are S20S because they're in KVK and might not show up, but well, they're a big kingdom, so the odds are pretty low that they don't show up. But the odds are always there. We had DQ39, our last big bet winner. Um, but the leader admitted like, no, we cannot beat 60GT, uh, uh, they're beasts, 
and they are also rooting for 6CGT to win the championship because they are Chinese as well. So, hey, I like DQ39. They got bad luck with matchup, but they are a very, very good team. Let's watch out for them next Osiris League. Then we had Evox, but I didn't got any reply afterwards, so I will just let it go. Um, we have the total bets right here in this end screen. Neglect the 1 and 2 coin bets. Those are just for me an indicator. 1 bet is not very interesting. 2 bets is... Uh, 2 coins is interesting. So, um, yeah, but not to bet on. Just to watch. Sometimes to bet on. Depends. It's just for myself to remember things for videos. Um, because I bet on every single match. I want to see a lot of green there, you know. So this was it for today. Um, you gotta keep updated in the comments or in Discord because... I might get an update on any match that's not playing or something, so I want to mention that ASAP. I cannot edit the video, so that will be in my Discord server or in the comments. Please leave a like and subscribe, and see you in the next one.